and stay in the distance. The Group 1 Sydney Cup. Recent arrival to the Kieran Ma stable, Circle of Fire started a narrow favourite from Athabaskan. Mostly cloudy. He's been a bit up on the toe and he's come across in a lather. He's a bit further away from me, so I'll try and get a better... Now. Here we go, the Sydney Cup. Stand by. And they're off and racing. Oh, one's flopped out of the gates. A clear last was a maid. A maid is ten lengths out the back and Major Bill, last year's derby winner, jumped brilliantly. Carla pour away nicely in second and Ma Rajan goes forward out deep on the outside of Manzois. Then came Serpentine, who's a few lengths off the lead in the early part and is going between runners. Stockman, it's outside. Circle of Fires firing up a little bit in the early stages, followed by Glentane is buried down on the rails. Ash run in the middle of the ruck. They're followed further back by Loft down on the fence. Uh, further back in the field then to uh, Athabaskan, who's on a three-wide par from So Dazzling. Then came Salino, mostly cloudy. A mate recovered after the tardy start and has put military mission now back in last position. Uh, rolling down towards the post, it's Major Beale and Stockman, and the pace is all right here. Major Beale from Stockman. We don't often see Stockman eyeballing a front runner. He's a half length away with one lap to go. This dual New Zealand Cup winner over two miles, Mah Rajan, in a very handy third. In advance of Man Zoyce, and then came Carla Poor fifth. Now, the favourite circle of fires on a three wide path has been keen in the early stages, so Andrea Ratzeni allows the favourite to slide forward, circle of fire. Serpentine getting close to heels, one off the fence. Athabaskan in the dark blue cap, the outside. They're followed by Loft on the inside of Ash Runner. Further back to Salino from So Dazzling. Our third last is mostly cloudy from a maid. And last of all is Military Mission. So it's Major Bill shaking off Stockman now. Going to the mile mark. And Major Bill's got the lead on his own now. By two and a half to Stockman. Maharaj on into a clear third as they work down the back of the course. Now Circle of Fire puts his head into fourth position on the outside of Manzois than Carla Poor. Now further back then to Athabas. Baskin, who's on a wider path, gradually improving. They're followed further back to Glentanius, who's down towards the inside running rail on the inside of Serpentine. Two lengths further back to Loft on the inside of Ash Runner. Then came Selena, who won the Sydney Cup here three years ago. It's parked down on the inside of So Dazzling. Then mostly cloudy from a maid, and military mission is still last of all. The Sydney Cup field thunder to where the race started, and it's Major Bill in front by three quarters to Stockman, followed by Circle of Fire edging into a clear third, but in a three-wide position. Then Manzois, Maharaj and in between runners, Athabaskan three-wide with a bit of cover. Further back to Carla Poor, buried down on the inside of Serpentine. Further back to Ash Run, now Rachel King starting a runner, mostly cloudy up wide of the 600 metres. Loft is going between runners as they come up to the home turn now. Major Beal in front by a length and a half. Manzois travels up nicely on the inside, Circle of Fire looping. Athabaskan's chiming in. Uh, further back to Serpentine. Ash Run, mostly cloudy down the outside. It's Circle of Fire tackled by Athabaskan. A length off to Serpentine. Circle of Fire. Ath Carla Poor's running on on the inside, but Circle of Fire with a strong kick. 100 out. Circle of Fire beating off Athabaskan. And Circle of Fire for Andre Adzeni takes out the Sydney Cup. Won it by two and a half to Athabaskan. Photo third, probably Carla Poor in front of Serpentine. A gap back to Salino, mostly clouding. A good gap then to Ash Runner, followed by a maid. Is beat uh, about half the field home at the end from Loft. So dazzling, then stop. Circle of Fire, a commanding win. He was challenged by Athabaskan but fought him off to extend his lead and now it's all systems go for this year's Melbourne Cup. He's only four years old, lightly raced. Athabaskan was game, he's only five years old, another Northern Hemisphere stayer, another one by Al Manzor. Carla Poor acquitted himself well as did Serpentine, who were two of the first horses beaten in last year's Melbourne Cup if you remember. Very different circumstances on this occasion. Salino put in his usual honest run. Mostly cloudy and ash run didn't quite live up to what I expected though. There was talk of mostly cloudy sweating up badly before the race. As for Kiwi based Marajan, he was a real fizzer, probably the first beaten. A quick look at some updated Melbourne Cup odds and guess who's favorite? 
Circle of Fire at the top, Sulcum, that old barrier rogue, and the injured winner from last year, Without a Fight. Now it's time for some late nights through the winter, watching the best of the UK and Ireland. Check the odds, pick a winner. Just waiting for Andrea Bettini to come back. You can see him wearing the black armband. For Stefano, one of his great friends. And here he can win. There's a deep story to this. Circle of fire, Andrea Azzeni. I am looking right now at the, the parents of Stefano Cerchi. He is a very emotional man right now, the Italian-born jockey that we lost only a few weeks ago. Andrea Azzeni came back to Australia, flew in to be at his bedside, flew back to Hong Kong, came back for the memorial, flew back to Hong Kong.